For this video review, we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Series. This is my kitbashed version of G.I. Joe Rock and Roll. Let me first give you a quick 360 view of my kitbashed Rock and Roll action figure. So for changes, let us start with the head unit, the helmet. Okay, so as you could see on the left side and on the right side, I cut off these straps. So that is to give the impression that he has somehow has his helmet properly strapped on just underneath his beard. If you're a soldier, you would understand that you did that helmet on properly to secure your head the same goes if you are a road cyclist or if you're going to uh, to ride a motorbike in a dirt trail you need a helmet that is properly secured on your head so another change on the helmet is the inclusion of a mic so what is the use of having peltors and a multiband radio on your pistol belt if you don't have a mic that is easily accessible for you to communicate with your buddies if you're going on a mission and you're going to expect a firefight in that mission or engagement then two bandoliers of ammunition is not enough to properly feed the lifeline of your unit or your squad which is your machine gun so extra ammunition is needed in the form of the ammunition bag Pack. so this is from grid iron studios so if you're going to carry these lots of ammunition then i included this gi joe classified series backpack straps from gi joe classified series out back so i took this figure apart and took the, uh, the cross bandoliers off and attached the backpack straps on before reattaching the x bundle years and reassembling the action figure so as you could see the ammunition belt properly sits just on top of the backpack straps the next thing that i did was to relocate all of the thigh mounted accessories which is the pistol the sidearm and the medical kit so i cut off the straps and glued on the medical kit to the pistol belt so with the pistol holster and or the sidearm but actually that is already a different sidearm which comes from gi joe classified series outback so it's also a personal thing why i would always put all of the accessories especially the pistol on the pistol belt and anything mounted on the thigh on the pistol belt because it makes sense in actual experience um it's going to cause you mobility issues because that is weight that is hanging on your legs and it's going to snag on a lot of things so much rather have it on a more center line of your body which is your waist the item that i took off the forearm of this action figure of rock and roll is actually going to be the ammunition belt which he fancies as a forearm gauntlet so that is a very weighty piece in reality so you're going to cradle your m60 caliber machine gun which is a very weighty weapon with your left arm now add that weight of a ammunition belt wrapped around your forearm and you're going to be very tired soon so relieve yourself by taking off that excess weight on your forearm and i just added a strap or a leather band which is something similar to what he has on his right forearm that is actually the straps of his medical kit since i cut off the straps i just um, glued a small piece of that strap system to make it look like a leather forearm or arm band 
So let's talk about weapons platform. So let's start with the one that is issued by G.I. Joe Classified Series for Rock and Roll. So it comes with a very nice feature which is a folding bipod. And we also have a opening for the ammunition belts to be inserted onto the weapons platforms. So that is a very cool feature. But the thing with this is because it really bends so easily or warps so easily when you put this on the arms or the hands of the action figure I mean. So this is the third time that I subjected this to um, boiling water treatment to straighten this thing out. So instead of using this, I changed weapons platform with the one that is issued by Marvel Legends. So the plastic is sturdier, does not bend. You have the, re uh, the front and the rear sides which are already in tune. Unlike this version wherein you only have the front side on but the rear side is down. <laughs> And the pistol grip is really, really small compared to the Marvel Legends. So the Marvel Legends pistol grip is actually longer. So the hands of the action figure could hold on to this weapons platform properly. So as you could see, I already attached the gun that comes with this weapons platform from G.I. Joe Classified Series to this Marvel Legends M60 caliber weapon. And I uh, just drilled a opening, same thing that uh, this thing has, so I could insert the ammunition belt. To keep Rock and Roll always on the fight with Cobra and his M60 caliber machine gun always rock and rolling and fed properly, so there are three ways that he could feed his weapons platform. So one is through the gun that is attached to the side of with the machine gun and is fed by this small belt. The next thing is also through the bigger ammunition carry device, which is the backpack. So we have the belt that runs to the uh, on the backpack to feed the weapons platform. And third, I could still attach this belt, which comes from G.I. Joe Classified Series, issued to this figure if he would like to do a Rambo-like so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review